Well, Fresh Baked, over the last week or two, we've heard from a Great America Park and from Six Flags Magic Mountain, both saying that they are planning to open their parks in the spring of 2021. So obviously the question is, well, what about Disney? <laughs> Always is the question, isn't it? Uh, but no, no statements from Disney. They haven't said a peep. Uh, but on the topic of looking for clues as to what Disney's position might be, observe the park calendar on the Disney Parks app. Scroll through the calendar and you might find an interesting anomaly. So let's launch the app. Now don't click the park link, scroll to the bottom. And there you'll find links to the park hours calendar. Park close, nothing to see here, right? But keep clicking through the dates all the way through April 15th. Schedule not available. Well, that's a twist, but just for DCA. That's interesting. What's also interesting is that it's the same date that has been rumored to be the first day of the food festival that's coming up in the middle of next month. Even more interesting is that you get a similar type situation when you try to book a reservation for Carthay Circle. This time, let's go to the Disneyland website. There's a calendar for the 14th, but not for the 15th or any date after that. Now, not the same situation exactly, but a very similar anomaly occurring on the same exact date. <laughs> but that's not all. Check this out. Let's go back to the park calendar on the Disneyland app. Okay, Disneyland closed, DCA schedule unavailable, but keep scrolling as we did before, all the way to March 28th. This one's a little bit longer. Same thing, same thing. And on March 28th, suddenly, Disneyland is no longer closed. Suddenly, Disneyland is now, just like DCA, schedule unavailable. That is interesting. I mean, that's at the very minimum, it's interesting because it's just, why? <laughs> right? That's the question. Why? Now, and it's, it's a really good question, but before we get too excited about this, consider a couple of things. First, we've been here before, right? We've been here. Uh, we've been watching the, the park calendar for, for months and months. Ever since the park closed, everybody's been looking to the calendar to see if they could find some sort of clue. And there was always something going on. Uh, a performance was on and then off again or, or rescheduled and then unscheduled. Weird things happening. Uh, everybody was paying attention to the hotel cancellation dates and you know how far in advance was Disney canceling hotel reservation for the Disneyland Hotel, the Grand Cal. And everybody tried to infer meaning where there wasn't any. It looked like something, but it wasn't. And this very likely could be the same thing. So I would ask you to <laughs> hedge your optimism just a little bit in, in seeing this development. Secondly, and, and perhaps more important, at least as far as my logic brain dictates, the fact that Disneyland is uh, observing the same anomaly, albeit on a different date as DCA, actually works against us and that in, for, for those who are thinking this is a sign of something. Mostly because of the date. March 28th is impossible, okay? There's no way we could open on March 28th. Uh, not without a complete reversal by the state of California in terms of, I mean, just everything that we know about them, everything that we know about how they are approaching parks reopening. We're still in purple, although as I understand it, the county is uh, bordering on red as we speak. The, there's gonna be new data out tomorrow. We'll be looking at that, but there's a chance we could go to red. There's the news that they're uh, you know, switching things to orange for theme parks, that could be happening. So it's not, okay, so it's better than it used to be, but still we're so far away. We're not four weeks away or, or five weeks away from being ready to open. They would, we would have to be in the orange right now, <laughs> right now for, for us to be ready for the park to open on the 28th. So that date just screams no. Now, if this were just DCA, that would make a lot more sense because there's, there's logic, there's observable logic to back that up. We've got a proposed food event coming up in the middle of March. Now, I suppose you could argue that the, the, the March 28th date is just for the opening of Main Street and not 
for opening of the entire park. Very good point. Uh, just in the same way that the, uh, the March 15th date on the calendar could be just for the food event and not the opening of the entire park. Very good point. But there hasn't been any sort of, there's been nothing towards Main Street opening besides me talking about it. There's been nothing from Disney. Now, there hasn't been much from, D, from Disney on DCA, but at least we have the communication with Disney cast members saying, we're going to do this thing, even though they still haven't confirmed it to the, to the public. We have at least that. So there's, there's, there's logic and reason behind that connection. There's just, they, they've given us nothing for Main Street. That, that, and the idea that they would just suddenly spring this on us uh, you know, is, is a slim thing at best. Now, I will say this also in defense of that possibility. Nobody saw Buena Vista Street coming. When they, when they announced that they were going to reopen Buena Vista Street, nobody saw that coming until maybe like a week before they made the announcement. So it, it's not out of the question. It's just far less reasonable or logical for that to be a thing. So I guess what I'm saying is, as far as Disneyland goes, I feel like, I feel like this is most likely a programming issue with the, with the app. Uh, but there's just a small part of me that says, oh, it's more than that. And, 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 I'll, and this is where I am 100% certain this is actual fact. They are messing with the code on the Disney Parks calendar. They are messing with the code. For what reason? I don't know. But if the parks, if they had no plans to open anything, let's say on Main Street or DCA or whatever, if they had no plans to do anything, they would just let the code be. They let the, the calendar would stay closed and blank. They, they wouldn't touch it. They'd have no reason to. But they're messing with the code for some unknown reason. And the fact that they are is enough optimism for me to, for, to put a smile on my face and to think it's at least possible that this is a thing. I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to, to uh, completely disregard that possibility. If there was nothing to see here, they would have done nothing and we would have seen nothing. There would be, there'd be no story. I wouldn't be making this video if they hadn't done what they did to the website. The only question is, is does it have anything at all to do with the parks reopening. What do you guys think? Uh, any conspiracy theorists out there, you know, who's with me? <laughs> Not that I'm completely, you know, uh, into this. I haven't totally bought in. I don't have my tinfoil hat on or anything of that. I'm, I am very logical when it comes to things like this, and I will most likely lean toward it not being a thing. But I, I will leave open that percentage because I also am an optimist and I, I like to think positively. And that's where my head's at. But what do you guys think? Is there anything here? I know, I know there's plenty of you who think that there's, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. Uh, but as I mentioned before, we've been down this road before, you guys. We've been down this road and it's come to nothing. And we've been trying to find, you know, signs for, for 10 months now. And uh, here we are still talking about it. But let us know, guys. In the meantime, thanks for joining me on this. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to like this video and to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and also hit the notification bell so that you are kept aware of when we put out new videos, just like this one. Uh, you can also follow us on Instagram at underscore Fresh Baked, and you can follow us on Twitter at Fresh Baked Dizzy, that's fresh with no E. And if you would like more of me and Liz doing home vlogs, which we're doing as well, you can follow us on the Royal Dorks. That's another YouTube channel. Enjoy us there. In the meantime, thanks again for watching, everybody. Uh, stay safe out there. Be kind to one another. And fresh bait.